I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Leo, recent past energy between you and your person that you're dealing with. We've got the star card. And it's with the two of swords. Now, the star card, when you get this one, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. And more hopeful about the future than you felt. Or than you have felt in a while. So... You'll be feeling more confident that your needs, whether they're emotional or financial needs or both, they're being met. But just know that nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely when you get the star card in a reading that your confidence is misplaced. It's unlikely that it's misplaced. This is also a spiritual card, and you could find yourself feeling, at least for a time, at one, at one with all of creation. And that's not a common feeling, so you might want to try to savor it. Now, it's with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships, they could be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the connection or the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back in the balance. But this will most certainly require open communication on both parts. So Neil, what I'm getting here, the star card clarified by the two of swords, this recent past energy between you and your person, well what it's telling me is that for a lot of you Leos, uh, you, you're with someone um, that used to make you feel really Good with the star card here. With the star card here. They made you feel rejuvenated. They made you feel hopeful. They gave you renewal. And you started to have a lot of faith in things that you didn't have faith in before. Just, you started to feel fabulous. That's how this person made you feel. And they made you feel so good with the Two of Swords here showing that you ignored some warning signs. There were warning signs. Yes, there were. Two of Swords can mean that you ignored them. Yeah, because this person made you feel great. Yeah, you really like being with this person. Any grief of the past with other things that happened to you, it was gone when you were with this person. You felt like a superstar. So you ignored the warning signs. You saw some things. You knew some things about this person. And you probably knew that you shouldn't be going there. But you went there. Because you like the way this person made you feel. So, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So, we got this Ten of Swords. And it's with the Hierophant. Now, the Ten of Swords is a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question... As to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, if you look at the picture, 
of the Ten of Swords, the card above the word present, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you, so trust yourself and trust the universe. Now, it's with the Hierophant. Well, with the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters, their intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you, or it could be someone coming towards you, or someone that you know. This person is probably quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, um, they're the genuine article. They're the real deal. A true blue. Highly admired individuals who walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Yeah, so. Yeah, what I'm getting, Leo, Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hierophant. Well, coming up, this is telling me, for you and your person, is that there's some trust issues here. Yeah, whatever warning signs you ignored in the past with this person, because you like the way they make you feel, it looks like it come. It could be coming back to bite you in the butt. Because look at you, you're down on the ground with all these swords stabbed in your back. So, and the Hierophant is indicating that you could be feeling like you didn't, you're not getting um, sincerity, you're not getting loyalty, you're not getting honesty out of this person. So you feel defeated. You feel like this is a failure. With the Ten of Swords, you could start to feel like this is ruined. Yeah, because the trust is, is gone when you get the Ten of Swords. So, that's what's coming up for some of you Leos. I hope just a very, well, I hope none of you, but some of you it is, not all of you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Six of Cups, and it's with the Eight of Wands. Six of Cups is often a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. So, it's important to not spend too much time, effort, and energy thinking about the good old days. Because we all have heavy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now it's with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is showing that there could be a lot of things up in the air. You could feel frustrated, maybe tired of waiting. But this card is actually an indicator to be patient a while longer. Maybe you've done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things. And I say this because it could backfire on you. You have to realize that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. Yeah, so, Six of Cups clarified by the Eight of Wands for the challenge. Yeah, like I said, the person that you were with, I don't know, if maybe you're still with them, you just feel like it's ruined. You ignore the warning signs, but like I said, it's 
for some of you, it's coming to bite you in the butt. You're getting a lot of unloyalty and untruth. Um, you're not getting, you're not getting the real deal. It looks like the Eight of Wands is here, so you, I don't know, that's about communication, so there's a lot of communication here. And then, and then, um, this Six of Cups. Six of Cups, it can indicate the reappearance of someone that you used to know. I know you guys don't want to hear it. I was going to use that word that you guys hate for me to hear, but I'll spell it out. It could be someone from the P-A-S-T. Sorry. <laughs> I know you hate when I say that word, but anyway, I spelled it out. So someone that you used to know, you could be on their mind. Because I'm showing a lot of back and forth communication. This person could be long distance, but you're on their mind. They're thinking about all the happy memories that the two of you made. Yeah. If they're, if they're long distance, they could be talking about coming to, wanting to come to see you. Yeah. Because I'm looking at that bird that's in the air. On this Eight of Wands, the card below the word challenge, he's flying. Yes, yeah, somebody is thinking about you, Leo. If they haven't reached up to you, yeah, they will be soon. A lot of communication, a lot of talk is coming in. Somebody is thinking about all the great memories the two of you made. Yeah, I'm getting that it's someone that you used to know, because it's about, like I said, I told you what it's about, I'm not going to say it so you guys can get mad at me. Somebody that you used to know. Yeah, you're on this person's mind, so don't be surprised if you hear from, from them. Now. Let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Queen of Cups. And it's with the Magician. Now the Queen of Cups can indicate a person or a woman who will be very, she will be very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work, to our world. And that's possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So things are probably better in your world than you're realizing when you get this Queen of Cups in a reading. Now it's with a magician. Now this is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and at the and, and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you're not you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So the outcome, Leo, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Magician. Yeah, so like I said, um, well, it looks like somebody wants back in. Somebody wants to make a return. For some of you, for some of you, not all of you, it could be the same person that
that you ignore the warning the warning signs with but i don't think so cuz look you're you're out on the you're out on the ground here stabbed in the back i don't think so i'm just getting it somebody that you used to know that's coming back or they trying to come back here they are the magician they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you Magician is about manifestation powers and new beginnings. They got a lot of great expectations. They're doing some planning to have a to have a successful comeback with you, Leo. It looks like there's a lot of love there. I'm, I'm kidding that you, you, whoever this person is, that's thinking about you, about all the happy memories that the two of you made. And the communication is coming in. There's love there. There's still love there. You could have a lot of love for this person. Or they could have a lot of love for you. Because the Queen of Cups is all about love. What's in the cup? Love. The Queen of Cups is all about love. Combine love, kindness, and compassion. So, this person could be ready to offer you. Their cup of love. So somebody is kind of keep emotions for you still. Someone that you used to know. They're manifesting some great new beginning with you. They're planning. And they could be strategic. That's what the magician is about. So Leo, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you. In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. And staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all say thank God for things not being worse than they could be. Because we all know that things could be a lot worse. So let's thank the Lord for things not being as bad as they could be. So I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them, or they could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person, well, I should say people, for this reading, could be a friend, family members, co-workers, or situation. So yes, please just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Leo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading and take care.